Okay, so um, I'm in my shed and I thought um, I wanted to learn how to do some wood turning um, or practice some wood turning, but I don't have a lathe, so um, I thought I, sh I should maybe try and make a, uh, a wood lathe out of what I have. Um, I, I was going to do what most people do and uh, use a powerful hand drill. Um, and use some pipe and stuff to make a lathe like that but I didn't think that would be powerful enough or big enough for what I wanted to do so um, I used my pillar drill turned it on its side and in this chuck I've got a, a countersink bit and in this bit I've got a countersink bit as well. Uh, this is off an old handheld screwdriver, just like this one. Um, so that's a hex, a hex bit that goes in there. That's just screwed onto a bit of MDF, and just to keep the pressure in different places so it doesn't topple over. And it works fine actually. It's it's not clamped down at the moment, but it works, it works fine. Um, this is a portable vice. Uh, it's got a bit you can unscrew at the back and it comes off. Norm this is normally my uh, main vice, um, but it's screwed in as well, as well as a clamped in. And I've just got a bit of plywood in there just to help, help with uh, the support. Um, I used chisels because I don't have any uh, woodworking tools so I used some chisels uh, to fashion the shape roughly then I just used some uh, high grit like low grit sandpaper like a 60 grit or uh, maybe, 80, maybe 80 grit to get the main, sh main shape then I went down in grades to that 150 and 240 then 280 which is this is wet and dry paper and I've cut up a load of sections that are thin and thick so I can get right in the inner curves and uh, yeah that's, a, that's about it I might show you show you it working at the moment I've just got a bit of dowel in there at the moment special um, it's just a test piece 
As you can see, the zoom out. It's um not amazing, but it it does look quite nice. Here's a, another one I done earlier, and I hollowed out the middle. But it, it could be helpful in the in the future, helpful, useful in the future, and um, I might use it to make some projects as well.